Rosalind Kogan's family arrived in Australia from Belarus with $90. His wealth is currently valued at $320 million. But his first enterprise was collecting discarded golf balls near his family's public housing flat in Melbourne's southeast. Pick up the golf balls, take them home, wash them, put them in egg cartons, and then sell them back to the golfers at the weekend. So it wasn't a huge enterprise of big money. It was $10 or $20 a weekend, but at the age of of uh, nine that makes you pimp of the milk bar. By age 23, the enterprising upstart came up with a business model for feeding Australia's love affair with plasma TVs by buying bargain basement electronics from China. I told my mum that I was going to start Kogan.com. She started crying. They didn't really understand it, but now they're extremely proud. Rosalind Kogan credits Australia's freedoms and values with allowing him to follow his dream and live a life unimaginable in Belarus. When we were there uh, a few years ago, uh, I told my mum, thank you so much for getting us out of here. There's crazy laws there, like you must still have a portrait of the president at the front entrance of every business, you know, things like that. We definitely don't have a portrait of Tony Abbott at the front door of Kogan.com. There is only room for one king at Kogan. And if anyone's dreaming of emulating his success, here's a quick tip. My main advice to newcomers is you've entered an amazing country, a free country, a prosperous country, a land of opportunity. Don't try and bring where you escaped from to Australia. Come to Australia to become Australian, to learn the culture, to assimilate.